What is up guys, welcome to the show, hope you're doing very well. We're gonna be talking about Aviator. This is gonna be a, a multi-faceted uh, umbrella so that you're gonna have a lot of developers that are gonna be moving into uh, this particular situation with their platforms. I'm talking about gaming. This is what we're talking about, Web3. Uh, there's a bridge too from Web2 to, to Web3 within this infrastructure as well. Let's talk about AVI. Yes, yes, this is a, a brilliant gaming platform. I hope you guys are doing very well. Uh, let's talk about this because it's going to be an arcade atmosphere, guys. It's going to be able to be uh, bringing in a lot of developers, a lot of uh, different titles. When it comes to gaming, this is what we're talking about. Uh, this platform has one coin. I like to call it a coin because it's utility token, essentially. I believe it's it's going to act like a coin because you're going to need this particular uh, token, guys. The developers are going to need it. Uh, the users are going to be able to be given uh, rewards based on this particular token's attributes. Uh, you're going to be receiving this token, uh, developers. If we play your particular platform in the arcade, you're going to receive this as a reward as well. There's NFTs involved, digital assets. There is a proprietary code, which is uh, basically a build of a bridge called the Sky Bridge. There's going to be an alternative, a solution to what we see with the optimistic stacks that uh, are existing in the base blockchain. This is actually built on base. Now, for those of you who already know, uh, that particular bridge structure is very slow because of the nature of it. Seven days out, you'll get your return. Now, but when it comes to this particular proprietary code, this Sky Bridge, this is going to be a part of this infrastructure. And it's going to allow us to get our money, our bridge over from uh, the actual base to the L1, which is Ethereum, within 20 minutes versus a week. So this is pretty cool. Hand clap for that. And as I was saying, this is a bridged situation when it comes to moving assets. Not only the token, the Aviator token, we're talking about digital assets in general, uh, NFTs that are going to be involved uh, with these particular gaming platforms and the developers are going to be implementing and uh, inserting their particular situations inside of this Aviator RK because this is what it is. So let's get back to the details now. The actual token in general, it could be a reward as well as a DAO token as well. There is a functional DAO. Several proposals have already moved through uh, the particular uh, platform. Aviator is the token that you need to participate in that particular DAO. So there's your added use case, essentially. It's gonna be used within the platform. Developers will get it as a reward along with us as the game player, as the user. We'll get that as a reward as well. It is needed in the DAO. It is uh, encompassed. It is circulated multiple times within this infrastructure it will be and there's a one percent burn too on every transaction so that's really good for the token very small supply so we'll get to that now this is a base network uh power situation so and there's going to be the bridge that i already talked about let's go and get to the tokenomics now 50 million tokens have been burned let's get into the allocations because uh just over 61 percent is going to be the lp which is going to be on uniswap five percent is going to be your team lock now that particular team lock is a multi-sig situation and there's a slow trickle as well one percent is going to be released in intervals 7.5 percent is going to be a burn token which we already talked about that uh, 50 million has already been burnt as of last december the 17th 2023 so uh you have all this full disclosure as well and again guys you have 22 percent going to treasury as well there's a treasury here too and uh four five that'd be 4.5 percent in the marketing wallet and that is going to be used for marketing essentially and i think every platform should have a marketing wallet but i believe you think so as well especially if you have longevity involved and especially if there's an ecosystem involved now this is going to be a non-traditional ecosystem uh, you have a DAO, you have a bridge, a sky bridge. There's going to be an alternative solution to the actual uh, fully functional base bridge that does exist, but it takes so long. They have a better solution that's quicker. It's called the sky bridge, which is very, very cool. There's a level of innovation here, proprietary code that went into that sky bridge, and it's pretty, pretty damn unique. Now, we talked about this technology. It is proprietary technology. Let's read a little bit into this so we can understand it now. Aviator has introduced a custom bridge connecting the Ethereum network to Coinbase Layer 2 network base, utilizing Optimism stacks. This is a little bit slower than ZK rollups, uh, the ZK situation when it comes to bridges. That is a little faster. What you have here is a proprietary code that is actually expedited, that seven day wait period, 
and condensed it into 20 minutes. Let's go into this. This bridge distinguishes uh, itself by offering efficient and cost effectiveness, supporting various uh, crypto assets. Notably, it allows users to bypass the original base bridge structure, which is around mm, about seven days, right? Those withdrawals are usually delayed associated with the stack base bridge uh, form of uh, trust uh, when it comes to validating transactions. You know, it takes a little bit of time. Now, users can opt for the traditional bridge or experience the sky bridge legacies uh, option. Now, Aviator's proprietary actual model employs virtualization service for speedy token bridging to layer one, which is Ethereum, right? Uh, completing transactions within 20 minutes. Now, you do have an option to do the regular uh, runabout. So that's really cool. It's backwards compatible. And as well, you can use this new and improved more speedy more quickly a way of getting your uh, assets through that bridge so i think this is really cool hand clap for innovation i love it you know how you already know guys you know how i feel about innovation let's go ahead and move to uh, the arcade section now a couple of bullet points before we get to the chart again you're going to be able to deploy as a developer host and manage your particular games in the arcade this is the platform that you're going to be able to get into this is what the aviator devs have built right uh that's in testing right now now developers will receive the aviator token as well as the gamers as well guys and this is a base product let's go and move to the chart because you're looking at three zeros two four nine eight we have zoomed out to a month all right because i want to look at a get a good look at this particular chart uh you're looking at great movement guys uh you had a pretty pretty good run too all the way up to uh around three five i think it was this was around the 18th of january pretty recent too and now of course when you have a run up like this you're gonna have some selling people are gonna take profits that is absolutely okay no one's gonna get mad at you about that now they can handle it very very well because it did not go back down to the one sevens there is a little slight dipper as well but i gotta tell you this is pretty organic this is not a rug pull a lot of bullish statements in the comments as well on coin market cap it is listed on coin gecko as well and i have to tell you uh pulling out for a month being up almost 30 percent is really 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 good and it's indicative of what's going on the community knows that this team is working very hard creating a very very cool a very uh useful platform as well that i think is going to have amazing use case uh going forward guys now briefly let's go ahead and move to the fly paper which is the white paper we're going to just go to this uh, particular tab is going to be number seven the rest i want to leave this is going to be your assignment to go through this uh white paper 23 pages long it's a great read guys lots of information in particular i want to bring your attention to the project security because there is a token deployment uh, page on the eth scan to where you can see pretty much all of that information one click here multi-sig wallet information right here as well and then you have your actual solid proof uh, project audit page as well you click this and it goes straight to that contract audit so in conclusion i want to know what you think about aviator avi the token one token wrapped around all this goodness this is going to be a dream platform for developers especially if they're isolated they're not getting a lot of traction uh the exposure is a little grim there's nothing going on why not move into this platform and get maximum exposure it's going to be very very cool to see this mature mushroom into something very very beautiful what do you think as a gamer let me know in the comment section be sure to subscribe share the content and always comment so i can see what you're thinking guys have a great one we'll see you in the next video